Hey, hey, Scorpio, Intuitive Soul Coach here with your May 2024 bonus reading. Welcome back to my channel if you are returning and welcome if you're new. If you're interested in a personal reading, signing up for the monthly newsletter, or entering into the free reading giveaway, you can find all of that information in the description box below the video. All right, wow, Scorpio, some of you are dealing with an ending or some sort of betrayal, and there's a cutoff. Not only do you have the Ten of Swords showing up as your overall energy, your action step is to put something to an end, put, put a close to something. This could be a job, it could be a relationship. For some of you, it's extra painful or difficult because you thought this may have been a wish or a dream that you wanted, but it's actually preparing and aligning you to move towards something that truly fits your energy, truly is something that you are meant to partake in. And look at that, bottom of the deck here is the 10 of cups. So this can be marriage, it can be family, emotional commitments, emotional wealth when it comes to your career. I'm also getting here with this 10 of cups, this is what you are manifesting. Realistic goals, you are understanding that you are worthy of so much more. You're worthy of love. You're worthy of, you know, soul tribe connections and being part of the grander whole of things. And I am feeling that there's been some sort of interference that may have even affected the 10 of cups, maybe again, some family drama. This can be betrayal of some sort. Some of you were betrayed by someone that you loved. Okay, we also have the Seven of Pentacles. Uh, you've put time, energy, years into a situation here. Now, starting off, your overall energy is endings, bringing in new beginnings. Now, remember that the 10 is a completion. It breaks down to a one, which is about self. It's about courage. It is about gifts. Ones are all about you know, gifts, even if we can't quite see the gift that is unfolding when we're going through it. And some of you may have been backstabbed is what I'm getting, right? Ten of swords sometimes is someone laying on the ground with ten swords to their back. And I just feel like there's been a difficult situation where it could have been gossip for some of you. You may have heard something negative. Uh, you couldn't believe that this was taking place here. But your greatest strength is to not lose faith, not give up on the dream that you have. And just because someone may have said something or done something or there was an ending of some sort doesn't mean that, you know, you're never going to achieve this, this dream that you have because your greatest strength in the month of May is the nine of cups. Nine of cups is wish fulfillment. It's feeling content, feeling good. It is one cup away from that 10 of cups which we see at the bottom of the deck here. We see it manifesting subconsciously. It's something that you are focusing on. And I do get with this being your greatest strength. This is about abundance, happiness, and emotional fulfillment. So if there's a situation, Scorpio, in your life that doesn't fulfill you, your greatest strength is to feel happy on your own or happy doing something possibly solo until you get to that 10 of cups. Okay, if this is career, some of you may be going off on your own looking for a new source of income. You may be building businesses. I feel like you could also be going towards people, places, and things where you are appreciated for your skills and your talents. You have a lot to offer. Nines are a sense of accomplishment. They're a sense of service. You are experiencing... A sense of fulfillment by letting this go. And I feel like this Ten of Swords is actually a good thing happening for you because you may have been carrying some sort of betrayal or heaviness for years for some of you, maybe even seven years with that Seven of Pentacles. But I also feel like it's not yours to carry. Or if it was yours, you have carried it longer than you needed to, right? I feel like it's it's been a long time coming. If this is a job, if this is a relationship, this could be some of our own fears or lack of mentality around dreams. But remember, your greatest strength is to not give up because your wishes are closer than you think. And it starts with letting go of something that was to make room for what could be. 
And that's what your fullest potential is here. Perhaps it's going back to school. It could be taking a new class, a new course of study. This could be getting to know someone. And I really love this page of swords energy because it has the wishing flower, right? It has the dandelion on there. And I feel like you are making a wish. That's your greatest strength. And you're blowing it out and you're scattering the seeds. But it requires you to, again, let go of possibly some mental or limiting beliefs because swords is all about the, the thoughts, the intellect. It's about decisions and communication. It is very beliefy type of energy. And I feel like you're scattering new, new wishes to the winds, allowing them to be carried away here. And you're actually standing in a very strong position because your fullest potential is you've graduated. You've hit a glass ceiling in your life, maybe in your job, in your health. You're ready to take something to the next level because the page is ready for a new challenge, right? Uh, it's you giving a challenge, a wink in the eye and saying, all right, I know what that's like, right? I've let something go. I'm working on brand new beginnings and you're ready to put yourself out into the world and manifest some big wishes and big dreams that you have for yourself or little wishes or little dreams. It doesn't matter what it is here for you. Some of you want to go back to school, get certified, get your PhD. Some of you want to meet new people, put yourself out there. Some of you may be wanting to learn more about your own personal development. When the Page of Swords shows up, there could even be a, a message coming in regarding uh, a belief or an issue or a problem that you are resolving. That's your fullest potential. So you're researching, you're digging it up. Sometimes this Page of Swords can be the private investigator. How do I make this happen? How can I believe that this is possible and come up with this thought in my mind so I can take action steps towards it because everything, every manifestation stems from imagination, right? It stems from that thought, that seed that is planted. So then we can take action, then it can start to grow. And I feel like that's where you're at here, Scorpio. We'll clarify all of these as well. Now, action steps for you to take is the death. Embrace transformation. Now the death card is major arcana for you, Scorpio. This is about you embracing who you are, who you are meant to be. I'm also hearing the phrase, be the change you wish to see in the world. Okay. And I was just looking here to see if we had the world energy, but it's almost as if you're scattering you know, these seeds, which could also be parts of yourself, right? Because these wishes are part of you. They're part of your soul. They're part of your, your identity, your purpose, your, your growth. And I feel like you are being that change. You may be going back to school after 50 years. You could be starting, you know, a new relationship or ending a marriage or whatever it may be. It's never too late, Scorpio. And you're going through some big changes, big transformation at this time. And your action step is to embrace the changes at hand. Embrace this ending in the best possible way that you can, right? Be open to support, be open to learning because the page of swords as your fullest potential is being open, being, I don't want to say naive because he's not naive, but being curious. Thank you, spirit. Being curious to new surroundings, new people, new environments, uh, traveling even. Yeah, you've graduated this lesson or level of your life and you're ready to move on to a new human experience. And it's actually going to bring a lot of happiness. It's going to manifest some of your wishes that maybe you forgot all about. Maybe you thought, well, that'll never happen. Uh, you know, maybe you haven't felt intimacy or desire for quite some time because you've been staying in a situation that was, you know, betraying yourself. The death is a powerful transformational omen that you are being guided to take in the month of May. Action step, end it. Put an ending to it here or embrace the ending at hand because wishes are only being manifested by allowing yourself to put an end to limited thinking, limited beliefs. This is about you allowing yourself to not let what other people think because on this 10 of swords, you see 10 hands coming in. 
and they are right at the head. They are getting into her crown chakra, but her hair is big. And isn't there an old thing? Uh, is that in the Bible uh, where, you know, chop off the hair and you lose a part of your identity here? So I feel like there's something with your hair, something with being protected. You are protected here and you you don't have to let people get in your head and live rent free as they say, right? People may have been taking up mental space living rent free and I feel like you're putting an end to that you're kicking them out you are evicting them so whatever thoughts that the other people were bringing in uh pain that has occurred from other people that you that has held you back from manifesting your dreams you are doing it anyway because you're evicting them you're saying I'm done done with those beliefs done with those people done with whatever it may be because your guides messages from your guides your spiritual team your ancestors loved ones in spirit are saying you got what it takes scorpio you are the darn nine of pentacles which is one of my favorite cards it's pre-empress energy but it's also solitary single success right even if you're in some sort of partnership that partnership is the cherry on the top right but you don't need that to feel happy to feel successful to feel confident and you see that she's created a life that she loves this is creating a life of independence but realizing that yes yeah, she would like uh to reach that 10 of cups that we see at the bottom of the deck but this is about independence versus codependence this is about feeling good regardless of status and being able to stand on your own two feet, your self-sufficiency paying off, having achieved goals and feeling confident and proud of who you are because you did this, right? This person didn't do it for you. Your family didn't do it for you. That significant other didn't do it for you, right? Yes, there's help, but ultimately you've achieved something individually and you're reaping the rewards of your hard work. She has an apple, ju juicy, delicious apple in her hand. She has the birds coming in. She has the, the fruit basket. She's enjoying the fruit, the, the grapes off the vine, and she's living a good life here. And Spirit's saying that's possible. Either you're in that energy, you're manifesting it, or there could be a fear of, can I do this alone? This can feel, uh, bring up fears of maybe emptiness or being single, but I feel like Spirit is saying you have all that you need within you already. It is your vibration of this nine of pentacles that attracts a counterpart if that's what you're seeking. And that's what Spirit wants you to remember, being in your own confidence, being in your own energy of happiness and abundance and success and growth and self-love and nurturing and home and finances, right? You can do this. Some of you may even be the breadwinner or you may be the only source of income, but I keep getting from your guides, you can do this. And what are you celebrating? What's the outcome is the four of wands, but you don't have to do this alone, but you must get into this energy here of, I don't need someone else to make me happy because once you realize that you make you happy right the internal reflects the external and your guides want you to know that you are powerful just as you are that even though people may be living in your mind rent free you need to put an end to some sort of situation that may be mentally blocking you from the four of wands Four of Wands is your outcome energy, Scorpio. It's celebratory. It's happy. It's abundant. It is special occasions. It could be a new home. It could be halfway to marriage, a milestone. This could be an achievement, an award, a graduation even. Some of you may be planning a graduation, maybe even for a child with the Page of Swords. There could be moving in together. There could be some form of group effort that comes in where you meet someone because you are standing in your power you are feeling good with who you are in your own skin and if you are currently in a relationship you're succeeding you are growing you are abundant and you're gonna have something to celebrate some of you yeah there is an end to a dream so for example let's say you've been going to school 
and you've been working your tail end off and it's been hard and it's been difficult and you've had societal pressure coming in from your instructors and your you know professors and maybe family and friends and you've been holding it all together and it's been a lot a lot of burdens but it's been a wish so that's why you didn't give up and uh, some of you there is a graduation here and you're going to be celebrating so same goes for any area of your life if it's been difficult trying to get a job and your wish is to really just manifest a new opportunity here with the page of wands you've been putting your research into it you've been on the the computer you've been searching you've been looking high and low maybe even have the education in the background uh, and i feel like the action step is saying, okay, I am embracing the new. I'm going to put an end to this old situation because I finally have this offer because that's the potential here is to ascend. So I feel like you are coming back. It's like you're, you're getting back on track here with this nine of pentacles. This is the card of, you know, achievement. So you are achieving great success here. And it looks like success in the material world in some way, shape or form. Maybe it's real estate. Maybe it's home. Maybe it's money. Uh, this can be, some of you may even, there is something with a home here, I feel, for some of you, okay, with the four of wands. But this is a really beautiful energy of coming together and creating balance, creating a strong, solid foundation that is stable, that's long-term, that's wealthy, that's emotionally satisfying as well. So let's clarify some of these energies. Spirit, can we please take a look at for Scorpio? Why is the Ten of Swords here for Scorpio? Tell me about the Ten of Swords, please, for Scorpio. Ooh, okay, something happening here. This is big. Ah, Eight of Swords. There's us getting caught up in our head. Someone felt left out in the cold. King of Cups, someone may have emotionally cut you off. Eight of Cups and King of Swords. Oh, that's heavy. Okay, so first of all, Eight of Swords feels very stuck. We're stuck. We can't get out of this situation. Our hands are tied. I can't see. I can't move. I can't do anything. But it's in reverse, which means you're freeing yourself from it here. Uh, Eight of Swords is mental conflict. And we're seeing King of Swords here. Uh, we're also seeing the Five of Pentacles. So someone felt a little bit left out in the cold, maybe abandoned, rejected, denied. And King of Cups and King of Swords in reverse can be someone who is not in touch with their emotions, right? Or someone who may have even been overly emotional with this King of Swords. But I feel like you were dealing with two very dominant energies, two very controlling energies. One could have been you and another person where both of you are in this king of action, okay? It doesn't matter, female or male, doesn't matter, but the masculine energy is action. So it's like both of you wanted to take action towards something, you wanted the job, uh, they wanted to hire, but it didn't work out, right? Or if this is a relationship, with a sibling or a family member or a lover. It's like you wanted to take action, they wanted to take action, but it just didn't come together uh, for whatever reason. And someone felt left out or someone didn't get what they wanted here. And uh, King of Swords comes in and rules law, right? Uh, rules, balance, fairness, very logical. So I feel like that's where the Ten of Swords comes in with the King of Swords and says, okay, I'm getting logical. This is what I need to do. I need to move on. So. I see that there's been something heavy here for you, Scorpio. Some of you may have been dealing with a water sign or an air sign. All right, let's look at the wish fulfillment card. Nine of cups as your greatest strength. Nine of cups as your greatest strength. So two nine energies here. Definitely completions that will lead to great accomplishments. Ace of cups, beautiful. So ace of cups is leading directly to a wish. This is a gift. Remember what we said earlier, that 10 energy, ones are about gifts, even if you can't quite see it in the moment. Your greatest strength is to open your heart to, to self-love, first and foremost. This is relationship with self, right? We can't drink from an empty cup. And I do feel that this is also a new connection of the heart. This is something brand new. This is a beautiful gift of a soul quenching renewal. You can actually see that she has her cup so filled to the brim that it's overflowing and on the ground there, there's new growth. What do we see here with the page of swords? Remember, that's our, our potential here. So the seeds that you have sowed, they are starting to grow here. 
We see that there is a beautiful energy and your strength is going to show up sooner rather than later as a beautiful growth opportunity. So whether this is, again, a new job, let's, let's clarify. Spirit, what is this opportunity? What is this Ace of Cups? A new emotional experience, a wish, a gift. What is this for Scorpio? Is this a relationship? Is this a job? King of Cups. <laughs> Beautiful. So this is now in the upright. So there is something emotionally fulfilling manifesting for a lot of you. There's a lot of heart. There's a lot of cup here. That's your energy. So it's something that you really want. So whatever it is, it's going to be different for each and every one of you. Maybe it's love. Okay. Maybe it's emotional fulfillment in your career. It could be being of service, being able to help others in some way, shape or form. It could be relationships that are based on grace and inspiration. And that's what the King of Cups represents. Someone who's in touch with their emotions. They are emotionally intelligent, very loving, very supportive. Some of you are caregivers, healers, uh, or you are working on healing and caregiving for yourself at this time. And that's actually going to lead to a grander opening of the heart. So whatever it is you are wanting, I mean, Ace of Cups leads to the Ten of Cups. That, that, that's big energy. That is completion. Um, beautiful. All right. Let's take a look at your fullest potential as this Page of Swords. Being curious. Being a student of life. Going back and not going back, but allowing yourself to, to experience more. It doesn't matter how old you are or how much you've gone through. This is you know, a grander experience because you have hit some sort of glass ceiling in an area of your life and your fullest potential is to stay open to new advances, to new opportunities. Spirit, please clarify the Page of Swords for Scorpio. I'm getting the name here, Eliana. Eliana could be your name or Ellie or Anna. Take it as it resonates. Three of Swords, you are moving on. You are ready for new beginnings. Your ships are coming in and you're saying, I'm tackling them. I got them. I'm giving this challenge a wink. Some of you could even be traveling. You could be researching. You could be going to school. Some of you may be sending a child off to school is what I'm getting. Uh, fullest potential here is to know that your ships are coming in and to see that there's growth and that you've hit a new level, a new tier. Threes are about creativity, advancement, union, and harmony. And because you are open up to some new experience and you've planted some seeds, there's a beautiful path waiting for you here. And Spirit's message is stay adaptable. You see the little chameleon. Stay adaptable. Stay curious. And uh, don't take your eye off the prize. Yeah, don't take your eye off the prize here. This is a return on your investment. You've made choices and you've been patient and your hard work is paying off here. So don't take your eye. And if this is a new beginning, you still have the end goal, but enjoy it along the way is what I feel. Enjoy this success or ride this wave or embrace this transformation. Be open Keep that energy high is what I'm getting here. Keep that belief high. Know you're worthy of great things. Let's take a look at the death card. That's the action step. So embracing change, not hanging on to what must die, right? It's like telling that tree not to lose its leaves uh, in the, the fall time, right? Hang on to those leaves but because we like to see the beautiful oranges and reds and yellows of the colors, right? And we want it to, to last a little longer, but it is part of the process. It's part of the growth. It's part of the seasons. And that's there's something here that is being renewed, but it's not in the same form, right? As Einstein says, Energy can neither be created nor destroyed. It just transfers. And I feel like there is a transferring of energy here for you. And you are holding the, the golden ticket here. You have the magician showing up with the death card. That's major arcana for manifesting here a new beginning. Scorpio, when you have this magician energy, Gemini Virgo, which we are heading towards Gemini season here at the end of May, this is you taking action towards what you truly want and desire. And a lot of you, it is this beginning. It is to let go of whatever the Ten of Swords was causing you and to embrace the transformation, to embrace this part of your soul, part of yourself. 
because the magician has all the tools. The magician is the man behind the curtain, right? They have the skills and the talents and the tools. They have the wand, the cup, the pentacle, the sword to be able to create the life that they want. Spirit, how can we help Scorpio create the life that they want? I mean, we see that there's endings, but what action step can we take? Two of Pentacles, find balance, stay calm amidst any sort of chaos, okay? This is the lemon skate. This is what goes around, comes around. This is the infinity symbol, right? Energy. It is all about you finding and multitasking. Some of you may even have, I mean, it almost looks like he's doing that in his hands here in the magician, but you may have a couple of options or a choice to make for yourself, right? Um, do I want to let the external really influence me and uh, the Ten of Swords, let all those pressures come in or do I wanna evict what's not working? And I feel like that's gonna help you find balance. All right, Scorpio, messages from your guides. We have that Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles is the card of creating a life that you love. It is the card of indiv individual achievement, success, happiness, financial security and wealth. It's one away from the 10 of pentacles. You're feeling confident or your, your guide, your message from spirit is to stay confident, stay in that energy. Spirit, can we please clarify here the nine of pentacles for Scorpio? The 10 of pentacles. You guys, we can't make that up. There it is. Like we said, when we were talking about the nine of pence earlier, in order to attract that 10, you got to get fully into this energy of the nine and loving yourself, right? Knowing that you are part of the greater whole, knowing that you have and hold great gifts and you've worked hard for them and you've completed a lot in your life and not having regrets, but enjoying each day to its fullest here. And I feel like the 10 of pentacles is long, you know, for you, you want long-term growth. This is the card of privilege. It's the card of stability, marriage, retirement, wealth, happy family, vacations, travel, kids, family. It is most people's dream. And you're seeing that here. And your guides are letting you know you're closer than you think. This is beautiful. And for those of you that already have that, maybe you have got a little bit lost by taking care of the demands and the needs of everybody else that you forgot who you were. And maybe this is you coming home to you, Scorpio, and remembering what your dreams are. Remembering, yes, yes, you've sacrificed to, to maybe create this lifestyle for yourself, but I also feel like your health, your needs, your desires, your wants are important. And that's what spirit wants you to remember that you are also a soul having a human experience. So make sure that you are having your own human experience. Very powerful energy here. All right, we have an outcome as a four of wands. Celebration and outcome energy, four of wands. The fool, there's your new beginning. I love it for you. So the fool is taking a leap of faith. There are celebrations here. Some of you are definitely celebrating an ending, maybe a divorce, a retirement. You could be graduating. I mean, whatever's ending in your life is leading to a celebratory, happy new beginning because you've taken a leap of faith here. You believed in yourself. The fool is the spiritual, true inner self. It's the soul self. Embracing the unknown, adventure, travel, risk, spontaneity. It's a new beginning and taking that leap of faith. Wow, I'm loving this for you. There's definitely a new beginning showing up here. A new chapter of your life is unfolding in a very powerful way. This is gorgeous. All right, Spirit, can we take a look at the Ten of Cups? I've been seeing that a lot of signs. And if you have any Libra placements in your chart, Scorpio, you may want to check that reading out. Or if you have family that has Libra, uh, that was a very powerful reading. And I'm kind of getting a little bit of the same vibe here for you as well. And there is also the Ten of Cups and Ten of Pence showing up. And look at that. You have Nine of Cups. So in a lot of readings, we're getting uh, the same cards 
uh, from different decks on top of the same uh, energies here and a lot of repeat cards showing up. So you have the Ten of Cups. Let's clarify. I feel like it is the Nine of Cups that's clarifying. So we see the Nine and the Ten of Pence, the Nine and the Ten of Cups. So when we get to that level of Nine and Ten, that is completions on uh, a certain human experience and it's feeling that fulfillment or it's getting really close to wrapping things up and turning the page in our chapter of life or completely starting a new book which is what it looks like for you so let's take a look here and clarify the ten of cups ten of cups here ten of cups underneath the deck subconscious the hierophant so there is some sort of commitment showing up here this can be marriage this can be committing to a spiritual practice this can be committing to new belief belief systems. The Hierophant energy is all about beliefs, morals, traditions. Uh, it can be divine energy as well. So I feel like you are, and this is Taurus, by the way, we're in Taurus season, but it's also about your teachings. Some of you are teachers or you are learning a lot through family or ancestral or generational stuff as well. And you've committed to a path that I feel like you've broken away from or broken away from and you're healing. Some of you may have taken a spiritual approach. You may have been, uh, as my family had once called me when I was younger, uh, the Fruit Loop that got out of the box, right? Because I was different. You know, no one else in the family had openly discussed their gifts, right? And I was the only one to break a lot of the uh, the cycles that the family had repeated. And I feel for you, there is some sort of commitment here. Certainly could be marriage, uh, but you're committing to a new lifestyle and maybe even a non-traditional lifestyle for some of you. Okay, something that kind of is taboo or goes against the norm or your great great grandparents may you may even think they may be rolling over in their grave, but I feel like they're very proud of you. Okay, very proud of you, even if they showed up in a challenging or difficult way here on earth. It was for your growth. All right, Scorpio, let's get a message from the wisdom of the Oracle. What do we have for Scorpio, please? Wisdom of the Oracle. You have the peace card. Oh, isn't it nice when you uh, when you evict the mental energies that are taking space up in your head and you finally come to a place of harmony? You see that there in the Hierophant. She was meditating. She was doing some yoga. And I feel like you are finding more peace in your world. This is freedom from attachment. This is the card of radical acceptance. It doesn't get any better than this. A quiet mind. A heart fulfilled, freedom from want, and the soul's satisfaction. That is 10 energy. That's the 10 of cups. That's the 10 of pentacles in a nutshell. The way to peace is through radical acceptance. Everything in your world is exactly as it should be. Harmony is beautiful. Enjoy it. When it, If this is relationships, when two people are in true alignment with one another, they have an innate harmony between them. They are as two perfectly tuned in instruments playing together. Sometimes it's impossible to tell who is who. Peace is yours, so savor it. And in business, this is one of those times when you are capable of clear vision about your work and how you create your prosperity. Whatever you're doing, Scorpio, keep doing it. You are called by a presence to step into your power. Just being is enough. For you are in peaceful harmony with spirit and it shows in your work. Beautiful. The protection message. Now is a time for calmness. So that's that two of pentacles. Finding peace in the, the craziness sometimes, right? Now is a time for calmness and well-being in spite of temporary conditions. Even if there is a dissonant note in the music of your life, all that means is that you must go within and fine tune the extraordinary instrument that you are. Find harmony within yourself and don't look to the outer world. How many times have we said that now in your reading? Don't look to the outer world for certainty. This too shall pass and once again, your life will be filled with beautiful music. Yeah, so for some of you, that 10 of swords and then the nine of pentacles may really ring true for those of you who have been people pleasers or you've taken care of family. Some of you are healers, okay, or you work with, uh, with death. 
as in maybe you have been a caregiver for someone who's crossed away, crossed over, or you may work with um, people bringing energy into the world or exiting, right? It could be a doula. It could be a um, working with babies in the maternity ward. This could be working with the elderly. But I'm also getting here transformations are occurring in big ways that are actually bringing you more peace. And I do get something with family structure, family beliefs, uh, family Someone in the family may have even been disabled. I'm getting like family disability. Some of you may have gone through a family situation where someone may have had a mental uh, health issue as well, okay? Maybe it was uh, autism. Well, I don't think that's mental, but uh, it could be bipolar. It could be something mentally, maybe a mental breakdown. But others of you, there may have been some form of uh, disability or uh, illness or sickness that you you worked with and I feel like if, if someone has crossed over they are at peace okay if someone's crossed over maybe Alzheimer's okay yeah some of you may have been dealing with someone who had dementia Alzheimer's or memory something with the memory something with the mind the head uh, and if there was uh, a death at some point in the past and you've wondered or you've came to this reading I'm getting Phil Phyllis or Philip as well or Phillips could be significant maybe that was the name of a hospital or name of someone someone in the family or Phyllis was a grandmother's name take that as it resonates but I do feel like they are at peace here and there is a new opportunity coming in with the egg showing up here because the eggs are always a new beginning so with that fool card I feel like you will have something to celebrate May could be significant uh, as well as June when it comes to maybe a anniversary Mother's Day uh, it can also be a celebration of life, something of that nature. So that is what I have for you, Scorpio. I hope it resonates. Thank you so much for allowing me to tune into your beautiful life. Thank you so much. Lots of love.